Yo, what's going on people? It's your boy Theo and this is A Real Talk and I'm here to give you my opinion on the Eurovision Song Contest that went down last night. Now, um, the big story is, is that James Newman's entry um, um, with a song called Embers finished at the bottom. I'm talking stone dead last. We got nil poor, nothing, zilch, nada. All right, from the jury vault and from the public vault, it was just humiliating, and I was just frustrated because I actually believed that it was actually a good song, good enough to I think would have actually probably gone into the top ten. I think that would have been respect respectable, and I heard the song prior to the to the final, but I didn't hear all the other um, entries of, of the song uh, of their songs um, from other countries around Europe and. Um, I, as the evening wore on, I considered myself thinking to myself, hmm, I wasn't so sure who was actually going to win it. Um, but yeah, it, yeah, it was just crazy. I mean, Italy ended up winning it. Um, and I was just shocked. I was angry at, at, at what was going on. I was thinking to myself, what could have gone wrong? Was it the performance? Was it, was it the performance itself? You know, James Newman doesn't strike me as a guy as as a as a dancer. Um, you know, it's it's a song. It's one of those songs where he needed to kind of be a little bit more um, energetic, maybe a bit more charismatic, maybe a bit more animated. But hearing the song, and I can tell you this because I've got experience working in the recording studio. I've got um, a, a bit of work experience, so my, so I know what I'm talking about when I know when I hear a good song and. I know a lot of people might not agree with me, and that's fine. But I simply believe that we deserve to be a lot better than that. We should have finished a lot better than that. Um, and and yeah, we got nothing. We got we got absolutely nothing. You know, I know we weren't alone in in getting in 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 dishing out points when it came to the public vote because there were five other countries that actually got um, nothing from the public vote. But still, it was just embarrassing it was humiliating and i utterly feel for james um james newman for uh, for it um to be honest it's not his fault how how things kind of unfolded you know he probably was thinking to himself what's going on here i was just very surprised of how it's it all came to be now a lot of people would tell me that it's to do with brexit the the rest of Europe hates us because we are we are out of the European Union. Look, regardless of what's going on politically, right? You cannot stop and stop to say, look, listen, this is all to do with the fact that you know we don't care about Europe or whatever. You know, no, none of that, none of that. You know, I still consider myself to be European, right? I'm born in this country. I'm born in the UK, right? Born in Birmingham. And, um, you know, I can still see, consider myself as European. And I've been lucky to, to go to uh, countries. I've been to Greece, I've been to Spain, I've been to Turkey, you know. Um, and I want to see more of Europe going forward. Um, you know, but we are a continent, you know. That's the bottom line. We are still a continent. I just don't understand why um, uh, political themes would get into the idea of... of are voting us this way I, I really don't get it i mean it really annoyed me how how um this is all came to be and everything else i mean a couple of years ago you had somebody stepping out on stage um protesting when there was when our performance was happening um and now this is going this is just made me made 10 times worse so it's just really annoying you know um but it just begs the question, should we actually stop entering in the, the Eurovision Song Contest? Because we haven't won since 1997, and that was when Katrina and the Waves won it. Um, but I don't know if we I don't know if we're gonna be able to win it. Um, to be honest, I don't know. I truly, truly don't know. Um, I don't know what song it's gonna take. We tried basically everything that we could do. You know, we had big stars. You know, James Newman came into James Newman came into the fray. Blue um, entered a few years ago. It's it's just getting harder and harder and harder now. And I don't know how we're gonna be able to really crack the Eurovision. 
But by the way, the thing that I can say as well is that I did have fun watching it. I did. I did have fun watching it. It was just nice to see everything together. And even though the pandemic uh, was uh, is still um, wearing on at the moment, um, how they managed to plan it all together and how they managed to do it. I have to say, I applaud everybody for for making it happen. Um, and uh, yeah, it's just it was just great to to hear new music. I'm I'm a guy that's that loves music, and I'm always on the hunt for new music. And it's just great that um, that we got to see the Eurovision Song Contest come come alive again, you know. And also, um, there'll be more live music going forward now because you know at least now it can be proved it can be done. Um, so. Yeah, it's just great that we're taking another step back into normality, really. So, uh, I'm not too mad. I'm not too mad about that, but I'm just not happy with the result. Let me know what you think in the comment section below. What do you think about James Newman's song um, "Embers"? Um, personally, I'm gonna be putting it on my iPod. That's how much I actually like it. I think it's actually a good song, but that's just me. Don't know what you think, but let me know anyway. I'll be back with another video soon. In the meantime, people, please stay safe. I am out. Peace.